Welcome back. CSA President Cyprian Montrop says 2020 will not be doom and gloom for the CSA. He says although the association is currently facing several grievances on behalf of its members, efforts are afoot to engage in social activities which will foster greater unity within the CSA. According to CSA President Cyprian Montrope, the association will continue in its diligence to see that the grievances of members are addressed to the utmost satisfaction in 2020. However, he says away from the doom and gloom of workplace woes, members can expect the introduction of several social-based initiatives into the annual calendar of the CSA. We also want to see that our workers be united and so that the workers can see the union as the most viable place, not only for the like I said, the grievances, but we'll also look to bring in some social programs, yeah, even to bring entertainment programs into, into sporting programs so that they can participate more in what the CSA has to offer. He says discussions are also in place to ensure education policies are enforced in the coming year. Things like uh, football, cricket, we can probably see some interdepartmental or interministerial or private versus non-private government, those kind of things. And we're hoping also that our education policy would be fully um, implemented so that more of our members can get education either at the local level or at the regional level and so that they would be in a better position to be able to manage some of the things that are challenging to them right now. Montrope invites CSA members to submit suggestions to the association office on how they can better be served in the coming year. For At 7 News, I am Jacques Wedding. Opening statements in the impeachment trial of U.S. President Donald Trump will begin next week. Trump's defense team in his Senate trial will include special prosecutors from President Bill Clinton's impeachment. He will be represented by Ken Starr and Robert Ray, who investigated President Clinton and Alan Dershowitz, whose past clients include O.J. Simpson. The White House counsel and Trump's personal lawyer will lead the team. The National Mental Wellness Center recently received a newly furnished group therapy room courtesy of the Body Holiday St. Lucia. Fennel Neptune tells us more. The National Mental Wellness Center is expected to enhance its existing clinical support services following the recent official handover ceremony of tools and furniture for a group therapy room. Representative from the Office of the Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Michel Fassois, expressed gratitude to the Body Holiday St. Lucia for the generous contribution of a group therapy room and a commitment to mental health. The Department of Health and Wellness is therefore truly heartened to receive this donation and extend its sincere appreciation to the body holiday. Your contribution here will go a very long way to creating a more comfortable and welcoming atmosphere to the users of this facility. Your partnership in this venture demonstrates a level of generosity and commitment to mental health in St. Lucia. Corporate Social Responsibility Officer of Sunswept Resorts, Jacqueline Scott, emphasized on mental health being a priority for body holiday St. Lucia and the need to fill in the gaps where necessary. Mental wellness is one of our priority areas. It's, it's very important to us. Again, as I said, we are passionate about it. So we're addressing that priority today. And um, why mental wellness? Because we believe that the human brain, as one of the popular ads said, the brain is a terrible thing to waste. And um, we are zoning in on the health of the mind. As you know, we are a wellness resort. Uh, both rendezvous and body holiday wellness is huge to us and um, we believe in wellness of the entire being not just the body but the mind the, your spirituality and so on clinical psychologist at the national mental wellness center mafelda dima prevelis spoke on the importance of the group therapy room which will assist with improving the lives of clients at the wellness center the objective of the group therapy room is to create a safe Space for clients with similar challenges to draw social support from each other as well as to share the experiences and to develop learning skills as well as coping skills. Our clients experience a varied of mental illnesses, social and interpersonal challenges, thus group therapy will be of great benefit to them. The Body Holiday St. Lucia financed the furniture, tools and equipment for the group therapy room 
to the tune of approximately 9,000 Eastern Caribbean dollars. Reporting from the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Health and Wellness, I am Fennel Neptune. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority has launched its highly anticipated 2020 Summer Festival, promising to build on the record-setting 2019 tourism arrivals. The four main events comprising the festival are designed to bring even more visitors and economic activity to St. Lucia. The launch of the 2020 St. Lucia Summer Festival at the Mystique Royale St. Lucia was celebratory in nature as Minister for Tourism Dominic Fede announced visitor arrivals for 2019 were at record-breaking levels. We recorded for the first time in the history of uh, tourism statistics in St. Lucia some 400,000 odd visitors. And so it tells me that the festivals are doing that because the opportunity for growth was really in the off-season. And that's really what the festivals have been focusing on. And it's the success of the festivals that really have allowed us to break that landmark number. The audience gathered for the launch of the 2020 Summer Festival was reminded that today's visitors are seeking authentic vacation experiences, seeking to sample carnivals and festival sites and attractions, culture and cuisine. They want to understand the way we dance, the music that we listen to, the songs that we sing. And they want to eat the food that we eat. They want to go to local places that we go. And they want a most authentic experience. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority formally introduced the four key festivals to be staged between May and November this year, starting with the Jazz Festival, followed by St. Lucia Carnival in June-July. Next will be Roots and Soul and in October, Creole Heritage Month. CEO of Event St. Lucia, Laureen Sidoni, announced a new feature for Creole Heritage Month. The inclusion this year of the Arts and Heritage Festival from the 23rd to the 25th of October allows us to further showcase our culture through theatrical performances, fashion show, and an arts and heritage village showcase. Sidoni also introduced a few of the performers for the 2020 Jazz Festival, slated for the 7th to the 9th of May, staged once again in association with Jazz at the Lincoln Center. Jazz at Lincoln Center shares St. Lucia's mission to educate and grow jazz and the music community and as such facilitates educational programs that caters to music students and musicians of all ages and stages. The event St. Lucia CEO went on to reveal the headliner for day one. He has been named Artist of the Year three times this decade in the Down Beach Readers Poll. Thursday will end with a very much anticipated late night jam at clubs in Rodney Bay with special guests Alfonso Horn and the Gotham Kings. The SLTA says this is just a tease of the lineup for the 2020 Jazz Festival and promised individual launches for the other festivals that will be hosted this year. This is the Hot 7 TV Nightly News. Sports and weather are coming up after the break.